MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game one of the American League Championship Series between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the New York Yankees. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Well, here's a little comparison of these two teams. Looking at it earlier, to me, the story is all about the pitching. Both squads have some good arms, and the team that gets the best outings are probably going to come out on top. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Back now live as we count down to the start of game one. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now your 2019 New York Yankees. And with that let's take a look at the Angels starting lineup. Harold, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Batting third, first baseman, John Wiggins. This is lined into left field, a base hit. So the two out hit means that Joanna Cespedes will bat this inning. Well, that right there is perfect for taking the ball inside. Ready for another chance. Leading off the John inning, Wiggins. He'll look to get something going John here in this scoreless Wiggins. ball game. And now pitch on the way. Pulled toward right center field. Trout has a read on it. Makes the play one away. Digging in once again, John Wiggins. He singled in two John trips to the plate thus Wiggins. far. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Yeah, Matt, it's incredible. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Trout racing back at the track. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Fair to say, oh my goodness, uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Now at the plate, the John batter. Wiggins. First baseman, John Wiggins. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Matt, here we are. Double play situation, and everybody knows he's got that sinker. Maybe get a ground ball and get two, right? But he comes with the fastball right there. Now nobody knows what to see. This is going to be an interesting at bat. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. In the air to center field and deep back is the center fielder. Back he goes, but this is going to be a home run. Two run shot to straight away center. His first homer here in the series. And this is now a two to nothing lead for the Yankees. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money, and there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason, and he did right there.
Here's CJ Crone now. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, man. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden this thing feels doable. Ready with the 0-2. Hit hard back up the middle. Casper with a great slide. Got him. Yeah, this game was decided in the eighth. That was a huge offensive fireworks coming in the eighth inning. And when the other guys put up a big inning like that against you late in the game, it's really tough to make any kind of a comeback. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. And there's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason. And that's exactly what this man did. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool to see. And tonight. From the Bronx, MLB Network brings you baseball from Yankee Stadium. It's the second game of this ALCS between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the New York Yankees. First pitch of a great pitcher's duel is coming up next. Masahiro Tanaka is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five like he has, He'll be in pretty good shape. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. In now is Andrelton Simmons. Batting second. Shortstop. Andrelton Simmons. Oh, it's hit to third. Five. And he'll beat the throw to first despite a fantastic effort. And that ought to be scored in infield. Batting third. First baseman. John Wiggins. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. He threw first and hustling for second. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Yeah, some guys have the ability. Trying to pick now things up where we left off. John Wiggins. John Wiggins. First delivery to him on the way. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Brown racing back. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot here to left, his second home run of the series, and with it, the Yankees have tied this one at three. Oh, and that was really close to a long out. The left fielder had a beat on it, and he gave it a great effort, but he couldn't quite bring it back. Instead, it's a trip around the bases. Digging in and looking for more, John Wiggins. Already a home run and a double for him in this one. Now 
outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline, so if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Called strike 0-2. Oh can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Copeland rounds the corner and is headed home. In to score, the runner from second, Sanchez, is on his way home. And not in time as the second run scores. Well, they've got the lead in the game now. And he's Stepping in and ready for another shot, John Wiggins. And it looks like this could be a critical at-bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at-bat to watch. And ball four now as he'll take first on the intentional walk. Digging in once again, C.J. Crone. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. Crone. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. High pop up. Wiggins is there for it. And that's the second out of the inning. And there's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason. And that's exactly what this man did. He's our tops player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. So when you come to play like he did and make a big difference for your team, it's something that won't be forgotten. 7-5 tonight's final. New York take a 2-0 lead. We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. It's game three of the AL Championship Series between the New York Yankees and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Tyler Skaggs will do the pitching in game three of the series. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, what I like about him is he knows how to pitch. He gives this team a chance to win every time. Last outing was a perfect example. He gave up two runs, and he still stuck around long enough to get the W. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. Batting third, first baseman, John Wigan. First pitch of the at bat. This is line to left. That gets down and the inning continues. So the two out hit means that Joanna Cespedes will bat this inning. Well, there's another hit by him here in the post. Digging in. Mike that Trout. No one aboard for him. Fielder. And two gone here in the first. Mike. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Grounded softly to the right. Going to be a tough play. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Angels are gone in order. They trail it here, two to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, John Wiggins. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. First pitch coming, here it is. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to left, his third home run of this series, and it gives the Yankees a 3-1 to one lead. That 
that's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. Trying to pick things up where he left off. John Wiggins. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. First offering on its way. Takes a look at a strike over the inside oh corner. Even though he let that one go, you know that's the kind of pitch he likes to take a big hack at. Not too many power hitters that don't like a stomach-high fastball, so he's probably not throwing that one again. And he'll look at a fastball here that's right down Catella. It's 0-2. Well, Matt, look, it's real simple. If you're going to throw the ball down the middle in the big leagues, you're going to get hammered. He's got to put the ball in the corner if you want. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His second home run of the game, and the lead is now 7-2. I know I get big money for my expert analysis, but this is pretty simple. If you put a fastball up in the zone, over the heart of the plate, this guy's going to turn it around in a heartbeat. This one was no shocker. Digging in and looking for more, John Wiggins. Already a pair of long balls on his line in this one, so we'll see what else he has in store here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that pitch catches the inside corner. That's a big pitch right there. It could change the at-bat. When you're facing a good hitter like this, that first pitch, strike one, is so important as to who's going to control this at-bat. Right now, pitcher's got the advantage. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. In the air to right center and carrying well. Way back there now. And gone. Home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center. His third home run of the ball game as they have widened this lead to eight now. Wow, talk about a man rising to the occasion. If this team rolls through the playoffs, I think he just made a convincing case for the MVP. Sure, it's only one game, but that's his third. Striding in once again, right, Paul Calhoun. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this Calhoun. point. Here's the one and two delivery. Hit hard up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Well, they're down by a lot, but they've been able to string together now a couple hits in a row. This is a big inning. If they can turn it around, they still got a chance to get back in this game. They don't score here. This game's about over. Gabriel Gonzalez. 0-1, here it comes. Hit to first. He's got it. The second for one. On to first, and they get them both. Ready for another shot now. now Wellington Castillo. Catcher. Two hits and three at-bats for him in this Castillo. one. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Line to the right side. Base hit and that'll get a run in. Oh, two out base hits. That's how you win championships. The teams that come up with the big clutch hits, they usually win. John Wiggins. We'll stride in again as he looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as he'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Out of here. A solo shot and they add another. 
So a solo shot here to left center field is fourth in the ball game as it's now a six run ball game. Four home runs in a game. Now there's some guys that have done it and it is an impressive feat. But I remember Josh Hamilton's four home runs in Baltimore one night. That was incredible. Well this fits right. Ready for another chance. Bryce Fox looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Hit back up the middle. And there's his first base hit in this one. Well, a lot of people are going to say that's a nice single right there. Maybe a little bit too late. He was 0 for 4 before that. The team's getting beat. They're going to point the finger and say he's been a big part well, of their losing today. Two, shortstop. Digging Andrew in to Finn. try it again. Andrelton Simmons struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Here's Castro for one. On to first, and they get the double play, but boy, was he ever upended at second base. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, it's never easy to win games on the road, so they are very happy with this win. Well, this one pretty much over before it started as we give you a final look at the line score here and what turned out to be a blowout victory. And there's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason. And that's exactly what this man did. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool to see. 12-5 is the final in this. We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. It's game four now of the American League Championship Series between the New York Yankees and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Andrew Heaney is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. What do we need to know here HR. This guy can really pitch. He's got a number of pitches in his arsenal, but the one I think about is the sinker. He'll use it when he needs to get a ground ball or maybe get out of a jam. Bases loaded, first and second. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch, let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. With that, here's a look at the Yankees' starting lineup. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Batting third, first baseman, John Wigan. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he is in the second with a two-out double. Well, there's another hit by him here. Digging in the switch hitter, Brad Brown. Left fielder. Brad Brown. Here's the pitch on two and two. Hit hard on the ground of first. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Trying to pick things up where we left off. John Wiggins. John Wiggins. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line drive to center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Home half of the third coming up. No score.
Ready for another chance. For the John game. Wiggins. One for two with a double John on his line thus Wiggins. far. Into the windup and the pitch. Line towards center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Make it six shutout innings as he continues to give them fits out there. Heart of the order, three, four, and five coming up. Angels are out in front, one to nothing. Cole Calhoun will stand in now. All one right, for two on his line so six. far in the game. Cole Calhoun. Here it comes on nothing and two. A bullet to first base. And yeah, it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. Striding in once again, John game. Wiggins. First baseman, John Wiggins. And the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Trout racing back, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And there's your tying run at second base with a one-out double. Digging in and looking for more, John Wiggins. Two doubles for him to this point in the game. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Trout looks up. And as Yankees fans here on television quite frequently, see ya! So it's a solo shot to dead center, his seventh of this series. As the Yankees move out in front here, it's now three to two. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money and there's your answer the great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason and he did right there Well, congratulations to them as they're now the American League champs. They're going to celebrate tonight, and then they're going to have to refocus for a run at the ultimate prize, the World Series trophy. Can't wait. Not a lot of runs put on the board in this one, but here's a guy that found a way to make a difference. He's the tops player of the game. Yeah, no question. He was a tough out up there. Ended up collecting three knocks, including a home run. So without him in the lineup, I think this might have been a different story. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been the American League Championship Series.